Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my 13th vlog. Now if you're new here, consider that sub and ring the bell. So I'm sorry that vlogs have been gone for a while. The last one I did was I think like four months ago. And the reason why I haven't done them in a while is because I haven't had any income at all. But luckily I'm starting to get paid again with my job. And I'm going to be getting around $200 a week, which is freaking awesome. Because uh, with my old job, I only got $200 every two weeks. So I'm getting paid weekly, which is awesome. So I want to go back to basics a little bit because of how long I've been gone from the vlogs. So I'm probably going to go fill up my gas tank because I haven't really, uh, I probably need to, needed to do that for a while. And I'm also probably going to go to Graffiti Games and see if they have any good deals because I have more money now. And also, I probably will go to the antique store, maybe do another haul type thing. So yeah, uh, follow me. Alright guys, so I just made it to uh, Camp Flea, which is the one that I feel like I can't really find anything the last few times I've been. Even though it is the biggest one in Ozark, so I'm just not sure I'm, I'm going to find anything interesting. Because they don't really have much of video games in stock like retro video games because i have found stuff before but it's really rare like i remember seeing like an original xbox for like 35 dollars which i got mine for 80 but i feel like retro or like original xbox prices have actually been going up so uh yeah let's see if i find anything okay so i'm in the thrift store right now i'm actually uh like i tried to find something i can't flee and there's this tv that i really want but i'm not sure if it's for sale so uh I'm actually in the other antique store, and I'm looking for any games that could be interesting. Uh, Super Nintendo is one of the more expensive systems, so uh, I don't see anything in here that's really that special. Uh, and that's not the only uh, aisle, though, of video games. This is kind of like a look-through. They do have some more Nintendo 64 games, which I remember they were really lacking on. So, uh, actually, do, they do have Atari... Uh, inbox games this is pretty cool uh, they have a couple of Super Nintendo ones but look at this Super Nintendo for a hundred and twenty five dollars that is freaking ridiculous I got this one for thirty dollars six years ago I mean like eBay might be a little bit more expensive but that I mean it does have two controllers but that's just I mean it's actually in pretty good condition but it hasn't yellowed at all but that just is so ridiculous so yeah, prices have gone up on everything. Oh, there's a couple of NES games. I did actually, I am going to pick up uh, Super Mario Brothers and the Duck Hunt or Combo uh, and cartridge. So I don't really see anything else here that's interesting. Um, yeah, there's not really anything else. But uh, oh, there's a little bit more over here. Oh, I think I already figured that the gold cartridge is not Legend of Zelda. But, uh, yeah, so I don't think there's really anything interesting here, but yeah. Okay, so I'm at the other antique store now. Look what I found. This is an inbox Baby Sinclair doll. Like, every time I see this on eBay, like, it's, like, freaking, like, not even in the box and it doesn't work. Okay, let me pull the string. Does it work? Oh my god, it actually works. That's insane. Here, let me let me put you back. Yeah, that's freaking insane. Like, the fact that someone kept this for this long, and it's the voice box still works, that's insane. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, so, uh, I got a uh, copy of Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt combined. And one of the things that's actually kind of cool about this is that it includes a sleeve, which is actually pretty cool because I don't have enough of these in my collection. It's in pretty good condition. There's a couple dirty spots, but other than that, it's pretty good. Because my copy of Duck Hunt does not work. Like, even if I clean it, like, it still glitches out. So, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, so sadly, I couldn't get the TV because, like, the, it didn't even have a price tag in, like, uh, he tried to call her to see if there's a price on it, but they didn't respond. So it's kind of, I'm kind of sad about that because it was a wood grain, like CRT that was like in the eighties and it had like UHF and VHF dials and stuff. And it was, I really wanted it, but I don't know how much it would have been because like I saw many TVs, like many CRTs, 
uh, at other booths that were like $60. So even if I did get it, I probably wouldn't have gotten a good deal on it. So that kind of sucks. But uh, I'm actually going to fill up my gas tank real quick because I've been overdue to do that. So yeah. Okay, so I'm just filling up my gas. Look how expensive these gas prices are. $3.89. Like, that is insane. Like, I mean, we did have like $4.50 a year ago. But I actually heard that we're going to have some gas spikes or the cost of them. Yeah, so that's kind of ridiculous. So uh, I'm not probably not going to get as much gas because or like money worth because like i usually can get a 30 dollar spend 30 dollars and then it would be good for a full tank but yeah that sucks yeah so this is the prices it's basically the exact same price for regular and uh unleaded but look at this premium is 450 holy crap so i don't know what's going on like it used to be that i mean not very long ago but like I just really don't like these, like everything's so expensive right, right now. So, all right, I'm not gonna show my credit card information, of course. Uh, six, five, seven, two, one. Okay. No, I don't want a receipt. Okay. All right, let's fill this thing up. All right. Yeah, so uh, I'm sorry that the thrift store haul. There we go, okay. Yeah, so sorry that it really, this thrift store is probably, this thrift store haul is probably the worst one I've had. I just can't find almost anything. I mean, like, the, not the mama one was actually really cool, but it was $150, which, to be fair, it is in the original packaging, but I just really don't like that it's that expensive. Oh, I thought I heard a screech of a car yeah so i'm just filling up my gas tank i don't even know i might have to do 30 dollars because like it's probably not enough to do 25 because i remember i filled it up recently and only got to only slightly above a half a tank so uh yeah so uh i think where i'm gonna go to next i'm probably gonna go to graffiti games and see uh, if there's anything there that I want, everything's pretty much expensive now, like you saw with the Super Nintendo. But, uh, yeah, so, I'm just filling up my gas tank right now. I'll probably head to Graffiti Games. Hopefully it's not closed. Because I went to the antique store on purpose before, uh, Graffiti Games, because I think Graffiti Games closes later. So, uh, yeah, so, um, hopefully I can find something, because, uh, it's actually, like, I just, I just feel like there's everything's expensive now and actually i wanted to show you guys my wallet real quick because this wallet i've had since like 2016 and it's starting to get worn about a little bit with those creases right there it's actually a really cool wallet but i'm gonna try to keep this as long as i can before it starts uh ripping so yeah i'm probably gonna go ahead and go to graffiti games hopefully they have something good there Alright guys, so I went to Graffiti Games and I just found something that I've been looking for for a long time. I finally got, hopefully, a working Game Boy Color. Now, I mentioned in some of my videos that I got a Game Boy Color from Japan and it does not work well at all. So, uh, I probably need to test a game in here, but uh, hopefully this works. So, uh, they always said that if it doesn't work, I can bring it back. But let's unbox this thing. So... This is actually in really good condition. Like, this is, like, actually surprising. So, it's kind of crazy because... Oh, there's already batteries in here. Okay. Uh, hopefully, it's not corroded. Uh, so, this is a Kiwi Game Boy Color. And this is actually one of my favorite colors of, like, the Game Boy Color line. Because, like, I think, like, the, uh, like the Game Boy Color I got was, like, a clear blue case. Which is probably a new case. But uh, it doesn't work very well, the Game Boy Color that I have back home. But let's see if this works. It's kind of hard to see, but yes. Oh my gosh, that is freaking awesome. Like, it's in really good condition. Like, the only thing that's a little bit weird, well, not weird, but uh, the label on the back is a little bit worn. But other than that, this looks great. Like, and the battery, the batteries work. I don't think there's any corrosion. Yep, we're good. We don't have any corrosion. Because some of those, like, game consoles from, like, when I ordered uh, the Game Boy Color from Japan, it's actually, like, I ordered it from Sendico, 
And Sunderco usually is kind of like, because I've ordered stuff from Sunderco before, but I really like this Game Boy Color. I'm going to try to use this as much as possible. Like, it's just in really good condition, too. So I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, so I'm so glad. This has actually made up for the fact that I couldn't get the CRT earlier. And this was around 60 bucks, which is actually a decent deal nowadays for this. Like, I would say that I looked on eBay and they're like 80. So I also got my trading credit, too. Uh, so that helped a lot. The only thing is, yeah, the labels were a little bit worn back here. So yeah, this is really cool. So I'm glad that I got one of these. This is really cool. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I got a little bit better towards the end. I'm sorry if the vlog might have been a little bit disappointing for the majority of the time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.